not the way to keep our children safe. You know, we think that's a benefit for schools. Mixed feelings tonight as teachers can now carry firearms in the classroom. House Bill 99 went into effect today, which allows staff to bring guns to school as long as they have 24 hours of training. Isabel Hansen, on your side, you spoke with a principal who has a concealed carry permit, but she doesn't want guns in school. What else did she tell you? Bob and Stacia, that principal tells me it worries her to think about students in the classroom with an armed teacher. Meanwhile, a firearm expert tells me 24 hours of training is enough for him to feel comfortable with his grandkids going to school. It scares me. It genuinely scares me. When students sit in these seats at the Shepherd School, Principal Amber Estes says her teachers will not have firearms. Because there's a lot of things that have to go through your brain if you have to pull and shoot. Estes knows being a concealed carry license holder herself. For me, I'm like, you know what? I want to do a little bit more work on myself before making that choice to purchase the firearm and carry my firearm. And she tells me she does not want to put her teachers in the position to choose when to pull the trigger. You have to practice using this tool to get the accuracy down to really use it effectively. Um, and I just I don't think that's the place for an educator to have to have that responsibility on top of everything they already have to do. Schools need to say, what can we do when everything else we put in place fails? Joe Eaton, who trains educators on carrying guns in the classroom, tells me arming teachers is the answer. What we know is that the longer the violence continues and the longer we delay getting medical response, we are going to see more dead or injured. So schools need to do something once the violence starts to to reduce those two time periods. For districts that choose to turn to armed teachers in those moments, there's a 24 hour training requirement. I myself would be comfortable putting my grandkids in a school with staff that have been through this level of training. While Eaton recommends additional training, Melissa Cropper, a former educator and the president of the Ohio Federation of Teachers, tells me she's concerned. It makes our classrooms unsafe and it makes me scared for our children.